I used to spend around three to four hours a day on LinkedIn research and outreach. I'm talking about researching prospects, reading their posts, checking their company website, running through Google searches, and after that, writing personalized messages and tracking the progress too. So that's about 15 to 20 hours a week on just prospecting. So I asked myself, what if I could automate the research and get AI to write the first draft? So now all I gotta do is paste in a LinkedIn URL, and these two AI agents handle pretty much everything. The research that we're gonna use to personalize our messaging to the prospect, and of course, produce a massive report for our own records, and then the actual personalization and message itself. Not even just one message, but we can make three touch sequences too. Now I'm gonna show you how all of this works. It's actually pretty simple. So look, I'm not gonna tell you that I replaced my entire sales team or anything super dramatic like that. Uh, that's not true and it's not helpful, but what is true is that I built a system that saves me a serious amount of time every day and actually does research a lot better than I do too. So it handles all the tedious parts like the research, the first draft, the follow-up reminders, so I can focus on actual conversations and closing deals. So here's how it works. We've got two AI agents. One of them is Leonardo, who is the one that's going to write the LinkedIn DMs. But first it needs research. So it hands that off to an actual research agent. You see, we've got two different roles here and they're delegating between each other to get the job done. So what this looks like is I dropped in a URL here, for example, my co-founder. And then Leonardo has said, I'll help you engage with Artem on LinkedIn. First, let me research this prospect to create personalized messages. And so it actually uses the research agent over here, asks me to research. So it asks Pluto, which is the expert on researching to do that research itself. So we see that it's actually already running and it's gotten their personal profile from LinkedIn, recent posts, Google searches, etc. If we look into these, we've got uh, the LinkedIn URL goes in and there is a massive output that basically just takes the entire LinkedIn profile as a snapshot, uh, which is super useful. And then obviously with personalization, you wanna put in recent posts and mentions of different things that they've done as well. So. Uh, let's go into here. We've again inputted the profile and the output is uh, their recent user posts. So there's quite a lot of different posts over here that we can use as part of our targeting. And so from these, we can spin up different DMs like, hey, I noticed that you posted about this thing the other day. It uh, really actually shows that you've gone through their profile. Uh, last thing is we've also got Google searches and I'll show you how all this works under the hood in just a moment. But we're basically just searching through Google to see if there's anything else that we missed. Maybe even go on their website as well. And so we've run a couple different uh, Google searches there too. At the end of it, we've got a research report on Artem. So exec summary, prospect overview. He's a co-founder at Altari uh, with me. And then he's also a relevance AI certified expert and partner. Got a professional summary here. And also public presence, role, influence, networks, company context. So many things here that you can use to leverage. Uh, it's really good to just have this research on hand about your prospects, but... Uh, because, you know, a LinkedIn DM is actually going to be a lot shorter than what you'd be able to use all this for, but it's a good start. You can actually use this agent Pluto for emails too. So now that Leonardo has received the research for Artem, he's going to use that to create a three-touch personalized message sequence. So as we see here, it's already drafted the message and the three-touch sequence, and it's already sent out the first message. So I've set it to go out straight away, but I'll show you how this actually works on the back end and how you can configure it so that it actually asks you permission each time. But right now we've got to set it on autopilot. So just to prove that it actually works, here is the message that is sent at 3.21 p.m. And notice your recent post about OpenAI's agent builder and its real-world limitations. As someone building AI systems for outbound sales automation, how are you bridging the gap between AI capabilities and practical business implementation? So if you know Artem well enough and what he's doing, that's actually a pretty good personalization because it's very much speaking to what he's doing in the industry with outbound sales automations and his reference is recent post. So... It's a pretty decent personalization overall. These will differ a lot based on whatever industry you're targeting, and they may or may not get more or less specific depending on the prospect and, of course, how much information they have online. But that's, a, but that's an information limitation, and you can't really control that. So now going back here, I'm going to show you how these work under the hood. So going right back up to the top, again, we put in a LinkedIn URL, and Leonardo and Pluto work together. They have different roles. So the question is, how do they know what they're each doing, and how does this actually work? So looking at this over here, what we've got is a workforce in Relevance AI, where Leonardo is one agent that does the LinkedIn DMs. Pluto is a specialist in researching the prospect. So each of them have their own prompts, tools, knowledge escalations, memory variables, etc. Uh, not to overcomplicate it, the most important part is the prompt and the tools. And the variables are just ways we can store more information into the prompt without overcrowding the prompt. As you can see, company description over here, for example, I've actually got over here 
uh, it's just so that the prompt isn't super long. But imagine that that text actually feeds into this prompt. So the objective is that it's a LinkedIn DM agent able to start conversations with the prospect and then read chat threads thereafter and be able to send follow-ups too. So most of this prompt is actually just composition guidelines and frameworks to make sure that the messaging itself actually comes out really good. So I've just put through a few best practices. You can prompt this in a lot of different ways. So you can add in different message examples as well. Like if you have certain sequences that work really well for you, you can paste them in here and have the agent refer to them to cross check every time it creates a new sequence. But what I did was I put through a lot of messages that worked really well for me in the past into a language model and then had it generate these guidelines. So that it pretty much consistently always sounds the same, talking about brevity, uh, every word must earn its place in your message, which means there's no real extra wording, no pitching for the first few messages, natural professional language, etc. And then we've actually got some frameworks to guide it, right? Uh, these might differ based on your industry or how you uh, prefer to send out DMs, but we've got, let's say, a greeting, a specific trigger, like an observation, hey, I noticed this thing. Then we've got pain point insight, you know, usually that leads to this pain point, the thing that I saw. And then we've got an open question about their challenge. The key to LinkedIn is that we don't want to pitch in the first message. Um, a lot of experts don't even recommend doing it in the first four or five. You really want to be just building relationships. And honestly, I wouldn't automate the entire thing, maybe just the first message or two if you've got to follow up. But it's, it's always good to actually build genuine connections. So that's just a disclaimer. Now, each of these touches has a framework. And then each of them has a slightly different objective to drive the conversation forward in a different way. Lastly, we've got personalization strategy. So for maximum impact, incorporate these research elements. So think of this as what the research, uh, think of this as what the research agent is going to be needing to fetch, right? Recent career moves, company initiatives, technologies they've mentioned. You can change this as well based on what's really important in your messaging and your industry. But for example, these tend to be good for, let's say, tech sales. So I've just put in some guidance to say that the research is going to be done by the research agent. Because if we look at Leonardo and the tools that Leonardo has access to, because after all, the tools are what enable them to do what they need to do, it's just sending LinkedIn messages. So there's no actual research capabilities. And we don't want to use the base language model to research. We actually want to attach certain tools, which I'll show you in the, the research agent. So we've really specified the research is going to be done by a separate agent, the research agent, and will inform the prospect side of it. And then on our side, we have all these bits of information that I'm referencing. So company description, pain points we usually see, social proof, solutions and results. So again, these little variables here, don't worry too much about how technical that looks. What they really are is if you go into variables, I've basically just stored a bunch of information here. The reason I did that is I didn't want the prompt to be super overcrowded with a bunch of information. As you can imagine if I put all this in there, it would be really, really long. The other reason is that I give these out as templates. So it's actually pretty helpful for people to just see this and fill in their different pain points, social proof, solutions, and results. By the way, this is all available free on the marketplace on Relevance AI. So going back down here now, what we've got is now the slightly more technical part. And you can scrap all of this if you don't want it to send any messages, you don't want it to schedule or do anything like that. But I've put this in here in case you do want an automated system. So you will receive a prospect's LinkedIn URL, draft a three-touch message sequence, obviously pending the research being done, and then send touch one. Uh, wait 20 minutes. This is just for testing purposes. I'd recommend waiting a couple of days. Um, and so how this works is you actually just change the, the language over here. So wait two days instead of 20 minutes. So what happens there is it actually creates a scheduled action to send the next message or take the next action in two days. From a technical perspective, we've got these tools that I've made, so you don't need to remake them yourself, but basically one sends the first message and then one gets all the messages from the chat to just see if there's any new context or anything happened, just so it reads the whole chat for the full story. And then send a follow-up message, then send another follow-up message. Touch three, wait another 40 minutes or four days. And then use get all messages from chat to check if there's been a reply. And if there has been a reply, notify me via escalation and trigger send follow-up message. So it's really just checking the messages, checking the chat thread, sending a follow-up message, etc. So really powerful what you can do. And I've just given it some context here just to make sure the agent knows 100% what to do because at the end of the day, this is an AI agent. And when that AI agent is stuck, it will make decisions based on what we've given it in context. So I'd like to give it the full context of 
how to use the tools instead of just spoon feeding the tools to it as well. So while we've got an order of events over here, we've also given it the context of how to use the tools so that we can teach it how to fish rather than just giving it the fish itself, right? So yeah, you can use this if you want. You can also remove these settings and it will just draft the three touch message sequence, which will already look great and save you so much time. And you can manually send them out if you don't want to automate this. Now how Pluto works is pretty interesting. Again, very prompt based and essentially just has an objective. You are Pluto, the prospect pilot, a world-class research agent specializing in uncovering actionable insights, etc. So gather in-depth information, their professional background, role, influence, public activity, etc. So we're getting their personal profile from LinkedIn. So using that to gather information about them with the URL and then performing Google searches, extracting content from websites if it needs to. Uh, if it can't see words, but it wants to interpret the website visually, it can do that too. Read PDFs if need be and get recent posts. So the instructions are at some point it'll receive a prospect name or LinkedIn URL, and then it will start doing the research. Uh, and so we've added in some uh, important standards. And the key thing here is that we've got instructions. We've got an objective around those instructions. We've got the tools of how it's going to do the thing. And the last thing is that we've got this output. So produce a detailed research report with the following structure. So you notice with the tools, I didn't actually give it an order or any explicit instructions on how to use these tools in what order and how many times. I've basically given it the tools and I've given it the output. And so this is what's really cool about building in something like Relevance AI and having this as a truly agentic process. I don't have to set up nodes between the tools and tell it to run a few times and give it severe instructions because the research process will look very different per prospect or per company. So instead, I've just given it this output and I say, I expect you to get all of this information where possible. So I want you to run Google searches and website searches and LinkedIn searches as much as you can to get all of that information. So I'll take you through a quick run of this agent on its own just before we wrap up. Going in here, I can basically start by giving the agent one of the following or provide all of them for the most accuracy. Uh, I'll just give it the LinkedIn URL for now, chuck that in there. And then what it's going to do is it's going to use all these different tools that it has at its disposal to fill out that output. So we already saw this working before, but I'll just show you again in case you wanted to see the full thing happen. So it plugs in the entire LinkedIn URL, gets the profile. As you can see, super quick, already got this output. We're getting all sorts of things like experiences, uh, you know, getting the bio, headline, full name, profile ID, job titles, etc. Then it's got the recent posts, again, in a very neat format over here. Then Google search, found a lot of different things. Now it's going into a website. So it's found Relevance AI's website because Artem is affiliated to Relevance as a partner. So it's going to look through that. And it's just going to look through a lot of different things. Altari AI agents, probably going to find our website and then go through and crawl through those things as well. What will end up happening is we'll get a research report after all these different steps are done. But the cool thing is that I haven't told it to run in this particular order. It's doing it itself. And if it finds enough information, it'll end early. If not, it'll just keep going. You can add instructions if you're looking for very specific things, but this is just a really good general search. Okay, so we have our entire research report. As you can see, very comprehensive. Co-founder of Altari, certified expert at Relevance AI specializing in AI systems. I can tell you this is all accurate because I work with the guy. Uh, prospect overview, full name, current role, current company, recent LinkedIn posts, company context, etc. So again, we have all this. You can use this agent on its own or you can connect it to the LinkedIn agent. So that's what we've done over here, uh, but it's really a super modular setup. Going forward, I'm gonna be making a lot of other videos on how you can use this with cold email, how you can also build lists of leads from places like Apollo, LinkedIn, Sales Navigator, etc., to put into this because that in its own is already quite difficult too. But the key is that we're building modular agents. So I can attach this research agent to a cold email agent or a LinkedIn agent, and I can attach my lead finder to this workflow. So if you want to find the templates for these agents, you can find them in the marketplace over here on Relevance AI. Uh, we're actually the top result at the moment. So you can clone both Pluto and Leonardo, but you can also find them already linked together in a workforce over here with the LinkedIn Outreach Duo. So all you gotta do is click that and then clone the agent. If you are curious about what an entire outbound system looks like, 
feel free to shoot through a message or book a call. We can show you how we've done complete outbound systems for companies before. And that covers things like lead generation, deep research, personalized outreach, and CRM integrations. And of course, if there are any other videos that you'd like to see more of, feel free to comment down below and we can cover that. We've got a lot of different agents that we build every single day. And so we can always make videos on these if you happen to find them in the marketplace and want to learn more. Follow along for the next video and I'll catch you later.